chose the best tool for the job. Wouldn't it make sense to make the same choice when it comes to your truck? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is the 2016 Chevy Silverado. Nice. A good looking pickup. Incredible. I love it. Find your tag and get a total value of $9,000 on this Silverado Double Cab All Star. See your Arkansas's best Chevy dealer. With Will I Am, and uh, so congratulations on the new song. It's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you're working on an album? Um, yeah, I'm working on a, on a project. Yeah. Um, which is like a visual storytelling doc album video like hybrid for Apple TV. Oh wow, very cool. So this is interesting. You know, uh, we we showed uh, Prince was on on the show <coughs> a couple times, and we showed uh, Prince's performance. You knew Prince, and you knew well, you, you kind of you know everybody in the business. But Michael Jackson and Prince did not get along, which I did not know that. But you took Michael to see Prince, or you took Prince to see Michael? Which was it? So one time, Black Eyed Peas had a show in Vegas, and we got to Vegas, and I get a phone call from Michael, and he says, "It's Michael," and. I heard you guys are performing tonight. I was like, yeah, we go on at, at uh, 9 p.m. He was like, oh, rats, I gotta put the kids to sleep. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, later on, I'm performing with Prince. I'm probably gonna do this little number with Prince at the Rio. And he said, uh, oh, um, I'd love to do that, but I don't know if I, if I can do that. I was like, why? He's like, oh, I don't know. Prince and I always have been at odds with each other. I was like, oh, no, let me call him on the phone, and I'll call you right back. I think everything will be great. So hang up the phone, call this lady named Ruth, who then would put me uh, in contact with Prince. I said, hey, Michael Jackson wants to come to the show. Can you put him in a VIP section where no one knows he's there? So Prince said, oh yeah, we could, we could arrange that. So <laughs> I got off the phone, called Michael Jackson and said, it's set, everything's gonna be great. What, we walked him to the VIP room, I get off the stage, go sit down with me, Prince, and his manager, and Chris Tucker. So then Prince is playing the bass, boom, da -bow, bow, -ka -da -ka -bow, boom, da -bow, bow, walks off the stage, boom, da -bow, bow, -ka -da -ka -bow, boom, da -bow, bow, walks to our area, our section where Michael Jackson's at, boom, da -bow, bow. now say for example, you're Michael Jackson, I'm Prince. And, and goes off to the stage, right? So Michael Jackson's like, what's up with Prince painting the bass in my face? That could have been a song. That was a good song. Um, go to iTunes to download Will's new single, Boys and Girls. I want to thank Will I Am, Kobe Bryant, Chris Hemsworth. I'll see you tomorrow. Be kind to you. One another. Bye. Cleanup begins in Texas and Oklahoma following severe storms that left one person dead. Plus, two victims of the 2014 tornado remembered through a concept that's helping kids find a sense of security. And 11 Listens is getting answers about age limits for playgrounds at a BB park. Your news starts now. This is THV 11 News at 5. Parents, lawmakers, and educators rallying right now as the new superintendent visits. Well, this after the state decided last week not to renew Superintendent Baker Curris's contract. They are calling for people to stand up for Little Rock. THV 11's Winnie Wright joins us live with more. Winnie? Dozens of parents, students, and supporters of outgoing Superintendent Baker Curris have gathered here at the State Board of Education building as Michael Poor meets with his bosses here in Little Rock for the first time since his appointment. The supporters here today are hoping to show the incoming superintendent that, well, he's not wanted. 
I'm going to move over to the side so you can get an idea of what's going on behind us. Now, Poor is coming to Little Rock from Bentonville. His appointment was announced just hours after we learned that Curris's contract would not be renewed. Curris was hired as superintendent after the state took over the district in January of 2015. Now, the trend of having a superintendent on average of a year and a half or so at a time is nothing new to LRSD. The school district has had 22 superintendents in the last 32 years. Last week, the Little Rock City Board voted unanimously to send a letter of support for Curris to Governor Asa Hutchinson. Mayor Mark Stodla told us that getting another superintendent wouldn't help the stability of the school and the system. Now, this rally has just gotten underway, but we'll be speaking with parents and teachers and students, and we'll bring you all that information tonight at 6 and 10 on THV 11 News. Back to you. Well, severe storms ripped through North Texas last night. A woman was killed after high winds caused a tree to crash into her mobile home. And in Grayson County, five people hurt and at least half a dozen homes damaged. Crews out assessing that damage to determine if one or more tornadoes touched down. School districts in Bells and Howe even canceled classes for today. And several tornadoes spotted across Oklahoma last night. The first dropped in Woodard County just east of Sharon. Two hours later, the second tornado was spotted near I-40 and Cimarron Road west of Yukon. A tornado moved through Dakota, causing damage to homes, businesses, trees, and power lines. Reports also indicated a separate tornado near East Simpson and Henny Road in Logan County. And Arkansas didn't see much last night, but we do have more chances for rain now. Yeah, Chief Meteorologist Ed Buckner has your full forecast. Yeah, you know what? It was a rough go of it for Western Arkansas early, early this morning, late last night, but then the storms really fizzled out. We're in store for a couple of quiet uh, days before more storms come into play. Here's a look at the satellite and radar. Not much showing up right now. There is a very small chance that we still could see a thunderstorm pop up this evening because the actual cool front has yet to push through the state. It'll slowly move through tonight. There you see one of the radar, one of the future radar models is picking up. Some thunderstorm activity, very isolated, but it's picking up some, so we can't rule that out. It won't be a big deal, but there could be a storm before this front clears the state, which won't happen until later on tonight. So we'll watch that closely tonight, but right now nothing's showing up on radar. It's the low of 60 degrees with clear skies tomorrow, partly cloudy skies by the afternoon and a high of 85. We're looking really nice on Thursday, but then things go right back downhill into the weekend. We'll have that forecast coming up. All right, Ed, thank you. Two years since two young boys died in an EF4 tornado that ripped through Faulkner County. Nine-year-old Cameron and seven-year-old Tyler, third and first graders at Bologna Primary School. Today, their classmates honored their memory in a way that represents who those boys were. THV 11's Mariel Mose is joining us live from the playground of Bologna Primary to explain. Mariel. Don, those boys, those students that were in Cameron and Tyler's class are now fifth and third graders. Today, they painted and printed their hands on benches in order to give these benches much more of a purpose than just a place to sit. He was a great friend. He wouldn't do anybody anything to hurt anybody. He was nice. Accepting loss is never easy. But this fifth grader found a way. I just accepted it because I know he's up in heaven with God, and I'm just fine with that, and I know he's in a better place. Zachary Nolan, close to the oldest Smith boy, Cameron, who died alongside his younger brother, Tyler, two years ago in an EF4 tornado. Looking back at my yearbook sometimes and just look at our pictures of our class that year. A class rooted in grief. Their teacher, Mandy Cameron, brought Cameron and Tyler's classmates from that year together again. We hadn't done anything yet to memorialize the boys. Painting and placing their hands on a bench, a buddy bench. They were always a buddy to us. A place for the lonely to sit, but just for a short while. And the other students on the playground will notice that you're there and come over and invite you to join what they're doing. Friends will be. I know I had a great friend that I lost that day. Also today in Valonia, the unveiling of a new storm shelter. It was it's the first of its kind in this state. More details on today's dedication, as well as their plans to build even more in Valonia tonight on THV 11 News at six. Reporting live in Valonia, Marielle Mose. Back to you guys. 
Well, you asked and we listened. BB parents called in and asked us to find out why their older kids were being kicked out of their local park. One mom feels her kids are being discriminated against. THV 11's Caitlin Gardenhire went to BB today to find answers. Kids over 10 are now being asked to leave the park. Some parents are upset about this action, but others feel this is a good thing for the park. It's either a new policy or it's just now being enforced. Miranda Davis has been going to BB Park for over a year with her three kids. Two of her kids were kicked out of the park Monday and Tuesday and told to go to the parking lot because they were over 10 years old. There's no sign or anything near the facilities that states that it's for use by certain ages. Her main concern, not being notified her children were asked to leave. I think that we can address those behaviors without limiting the use to kids who are following rules and playing appropriately. Some parents say the children's age isn't the problem, but their actions are. Parents say the older kids have been jumping from roof to roof, and this not only concerns them about their safety, but the kids around them as well. It wasn't being used for its intended purposes. They were asked multiple times to quit. They didn't. We don't want our three and four year olds being trampled on by older kids. The mayor says the rules have been in place since 1996. It's not it's not a discrimination issue it's whatsoever. This is this is a safety issue. The mayor also says they're hoping to put up new signs in the area to say the park is designed for kids 10 years and younger. All right, Caitlin, continuing our coverage here, an incredible story out of Hot Springs. Well, three people thankful to be alive after a masked man came to their office armed with a rifle. Bill Buck has their story tonight. Well, Mike Waymack runs an insurance company in Hot Springs along with his wife, and they both say if it hadn't have been for a 44 Magnum in his desk yesterday, they might all have been killed. I turned and I looked and I saw this man standing at the door with a gun aimed right at my head with his finger on the trigger. At that point, Wendy Coleman started to pray. And I just started praying and he said, I said, shut up. And I just kept praying and kept praying and he told me like four different times to shut up. And I said, I'm not shutting up. If I'm dying, I'm going to heaven talking to God. I believe that her prayers put the armor of God over us and probably over him too because I don't miss. Those are Dirty Harry bullets. Clint Eastwood's Dirty Harry. You know, how they missed him, the police were, were, were baffled. But there's no blood, but these 44s would have cut him in half. By Wednesday afternoon, the only evidence anything had happened were the two bullet holes in the wall above Kay Waymag's desk. Yeah, I plan on uh, covering them up as soon as possible, but I think they're also a symbol that we made it. We made it. Hot Springs police tell me that they are still looking for whoever it was that came into the office yesterday, and Waymac tells me he's offering a $5,000 reward for information that leads to that man and any accomplice that he may have had. Wow, Phil, thank you. Jury selection began today in the trial of a Little Rock dentist charged with sexually assaulting a teenage patient. Jose Tercios is accused of inappropriately touching a 14-year-old girl while she was having dental work done. Now, earlier this week, a judge denied a defense motion for jurors to visit Tercios's clinic. His lawyer argues a visit to Healthy Smiles would show the alleged assault couldn't have happened without someone seeing it. The shooting of a convicted killer who was trying to escape from an Arkansas prison is ruled justified. Prosecutors ruled the officers acted lawfully when they shot and killed 41-year-old Christopher Wilson. It happened April 7th when he tried to escape from the Varner unit. Arkansas state law allows deadly force to prevent a convicted felon from escaping. Wilson is serving or was serving two life sentences for the 2002 murders of Pamela Reed and her eight-month-old son. Well, a Hot Springs High School student is arrested after a loaded pistol is found in his backpack. Police say it doesn't appear there was any intention to hurt anyone. The student is charged with possession of a deadly loaded weapon on school grounds. No word yet on any disciplinary actions the student may face with the school. A GoFundMe page is collecting money to help fix damage done to the Mount Holly Cemetery in downtown Little Rock. 
several monuments and statues destroyed last week by vandals who caused nearly $290,000 worth of damage to the historic cemetery. In the past five days, the page has collected almost $600. No leads, though, on those possible for the vandalism. Arkansas could be in store for rain this week. Our chief meteorologist has details in his forecast coming up. Plus, despite losses in five northeastern states last night, Ted Cruz makes a big announcement for his campaign. THB 11 weather is sponsored by Cartai. Cartai has always been a patient center place where they provide world-class cancer care, serving this community in a radiation oncology field. Now we have medical oncology, surgical oncology, and the entire spectrum of oncology care. So CARTA is purely a cancer-focused institution, patient-centered, everything under one roof. And that's what makes us special. This political season, THB 11 is your election connection. Team THB and our partners, the Arkansas Business Publishing Group, bring an inside perspective of the candidates and the issues. Critical information you need to make an informed decision. THB 11, your home for campaign 2016. We have some companies that we compete against, and they actually still take jobs from us because of price. We're cross town tearing their work down, and they're taking a job, and we lose a job because of their price. You know, the poor customer. So I would encourage all customers, know who you're dealing with. Know their product, know their customer service, know their reputation, and check them out thoroughly. And remember, at Wilson's, you will always get the best of the best for less. It's the Great Outdoors Sale at Family Leisure. 24-foot pools, $19.99 installed. Hundreds of in-stock patio sets, swing sets from $5.99. Unbeatable spa deals. Swim spa starting at $99.99. The Great Outdoors Sale going on now at Family Leisure. It feels good to hang on and enjoy the ride. And at Crane Kia, Arkansas's number one Kia dealer, we're all about the ride. It feels good to get your choice of new Kia Soul or Rio just $1.99 a month. Plus your choice, new 2016 Kia Optima or Sportage just 19.9 or make no payments until 2017 and they all come with kia's 10-year 100,000 mile warranty and the crane commitment so enjoy the ride and shop crane kia north little rock and conway and craneteam.com Ready for great family summer fun? Then don't miss the Tracker Spring Fling Sales event. Every day now through the end of April at Bradford Marine and ATV at all five statewide locations. Monthly payments as low as $2.29 a month on the Sun Tracker Party Barge 20 with 60 horsepower Mercury and on the spot financing as low as 2.99%. Family, friends, and great summer fun. It's no haggle, no hassle waiting for you at the Tracker Spring Fling Sales event at Bradford Marine and ATV in North Little Rock, Hot Springs, Springdale, Texarkana, and Bass Pro in Little Rock. Authorized Tracker dealer. THV 11 forecasts are brought to you from the Crane Kia Weather Garden. Now, weather from the Crane Kia Weather Garden. You know, last night, just 24 hours ago, we were talking about the storms in Oklahoma and Texas, how strong and severe they were and how they were expected to kind of stay strong into western Arkansas and then fall apart. And that's exactly what happened. I was watching, uh, Tom was watching this morning very early. We had a couple of tornado warnings, did not amount to much that I've heard so far. But then everything just fell apart and fizzled out, and we barely saw any rain, actually, by the time those storms got, or those showers got to central Arkansas. Let's talk about right now. We have just a couple of clouds around, and there is still, believe it or not, a potential for an isolated thunderstorm to pop up as the cool front has yet to push through the state. Just now pushing into western Arkansas, out ahead of it, in southern Missouri near Branson, we see the beginnings of a couple of storms firing. So we'll have to watch that closely as that front moves across the state this evening. There's a little bit of warmth and instability in place still until it clears the area. Pollen count update for you. The tree pollen, mostly pine pollen, is in the high category. Grass pollen low, the mulch spore in the moderate range. Numbers from today, warm, especially after the sun came out. 82 is our high, 76 is the normal. And we picked up just about two tenths of an inch of rain from what was left of those dying storms early this morning. It's currently 82 with a dew point at 62. The wind south southwest at eight. The upper atmosphere is pretty dry and the lower atmosphere not too bad either. Only 51 percent humidity. So if we do get a thunderstorm to fire, there will only be a couple of them. They'd be rather isolated 
at best. 82 in Hot Springs right now, 81 in Stuttgart, 79 currently in Pine Bluff. So this front will push through the area tonight, again, producing what could be one or two storms, but for the most part, quiet weather. And then a warm front develops along the Red River Valley. That will be a focal point for showers and storms as we head into Friday. And believe it or not, that front won't go anywhere, even into Saturday and maybe even Sunday. So storms in the forecast Friday through Sunday. Slight wet risk of severe weather tomorrow for the Red River Valley. Not so much for us. It's going to be beautiful. 60 tonight, 20% the chance of a thunderstorm. Very isolated at best. Tomorrow, a dry day and warm. 85 the high, partly cloudy skies. Enjoy tomorrow because look what happens. Unsettled weather Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And some of those storms could be severe late Friday or on Saturday. We'll watch that for you as we head into the weekend. But all in all, looking okay tonight and tomorrow. Back to you. Two years ago today, a devastating EF4 tornado ripped through central Arkansas for 150 miles, destroying almost everything in its path. 16 lives were lost that day. Tonight, we have an interview you don't want to miss. We had the NOAA weather radio on. We had the TV on. Uh, we were tracking it. We were watching it. Everything went black, dark, and we saw trees. Uh, 40, 50 foot trees just laying down. And so immediately everybody just ran to the, the center hall of the home. And uh, we were getting children under the stairwell. Um, four of us didn't make it under the stairwell. I don't remember anything after that. I think that's um, probably when I was unconscious. And But when I did get up, I had realized that I was the only one that was going to walk away of the four. Carrie Tittle, a mother of nine, lost two children and her husband when the tornado hit her Ferndale home. Hear her share her story for the first time since that devastating day. Coming up tonight at 6. We'll be right back. Get THV weather and Ed Buckner's forecast on 100.3 The Edge, your home for Corey and Patrick in the morning. Your Arkansas Ram dealers have some big news. Truck month has been extended through April. Now's the time to take advantage of some amazing offers. Right now, get 0% APR financing for 60 months for up to 11760 in total values on new Ram 1500 V6 Bighorn Crew Cabs. And if you're a current owner of a light-duty pickup, any make, any model, you get an additional $1,000 bonus cash. Visit your Arkansas Ram dealer today. But hurry, these offers won't last forever. Looking for a new or used vehicle and tired of big corporations with high pressure sales? Then come to Welch Nissan in Pine Bluff. Family owned and operated, they've been serving Arkansas families since 1935 with the guaranteed lowest prices. With huge discounts and top dollar for your trade, why shop anywhere else? New or pre-owned, make Welch your first stop. Come see the Welch team today at 2505 South Olive Street in Pine Bluff or online at welchnissan.com. Ford Truck Month, now extended. Let me hear you say truck, yeah, let's crank it on up, yeah. Ford F-Series is America's best-selling truck, and with over 25 million sold in the past 39 years, no wonder it's the number one choice in the hardest working industries out there. Ford Truck Month, now extended. Hurry, get 0% financing for 60 months or choose 7,050 in total savings on F-150. There's like some kind of viney substance growing on my sidewalk. We see that a lot around here. I gave Joshua the Roundup with the Easy Wand Applicator. Ace is a place with wands that make weeds disappear. Watch the flowers. Uh -oh. Nobody knows local weeds better than your neighborhood Ace. Run in now and get Roundup Pump and Go for just $14.99 after $4 instant savings. Only at Ace, the helpful place. Thursday, with only three bangs left, you're invited to an evening of fine wine. I do enjoy an aged Pinot Noir. That would pair nicely with your fried nuggets of chicken. And toy trains. When I was five, I ingested a locomotive. I spent the next three days saying, I think I can pass it. I think I can pass it. Think I can pass it. <laughs> then, want to impress your dad? The Mets locker room. Try hitting the big leagues. <laughs> Got it right in the ball. A new odd couple right after a new Big Bang Theory, CBS Thursday.
Welcome back. Big wins for the front runners in the presidential race. Donald Trump scored larger than expected in his victories in five states last night. He is now set to take the nomination before the convention, something Ted Cruz and John Kasich can't do. Trump delivered a foreign policy speech, but it was lost by a jab aimed at Clinton. If Hillary Clinton were a man, I don't think she'd get 5% of the vote. The only thing she's got going is the woman's card. And the beautiful thing is women don't like her. And I know that Clinton won four states Tuesday and only needs 18% of the remaining delegates to get the nomination. Candidates are now focusing on Indiana, which votes next Tuesday. Meanwhile, big announcement from Ted Cruz today as he named Carly Fiorina as his running mate. The Texas senator unveiled his pick for vice president today in Indianapolis. The 61-year-old Fiorina endorsed Cruz earlier in the year. This after abandoning her own presidential bid. The former chief executive at Hewlett Packard has never held an elected office. Meantime, a federal judge hands down a 15-month prison sentence to the former U.S. House Speaker. Dennis Hastert sentenced in a hush money case after being accused of sexually abusing at least four students when he was a high school wrestling coach. Hastert must undergo sex offender treatment, two years of probation, and a $250,000 fine to go to a crime victim's fund. Paris terror suspect Salah Abdeslam is back in France to face trial for the November 13th attacks that killed 130 people. Now armed police hauled in Abdeslam from Belgium to France today. The 26 year old is the only surviving suspect in last November's attacks. He was captured in Belgium last month after a four month manhunt. The terror suspect will be locked in solitary confinement with guards watching over him. His exact role in the Paris attacks is still a mystery, but prosecutors say police found a suicide belt with his fingerprints after the killings. Well, school is almost out for the summer, so it's time to start thinking of summer camp ideas. Mm, Central Arkansas has much to offer from art camps to education camps, and one can be found at Little Rock Zoo. Craig O'Neill takes the field trip next. Join the conversation. Follow THB11 on social media. Let me tell you now, something's got a hold on me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it must be love. Ooh, something's got a hold on me right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it must be love. Mm, my heart feels happy. My feet feel light. I shake all over. I feel. Discover the smart technology and design that has people falling in love. Now get zero for 72 months plus 500 Ford credit bonus cash on Ford Escape. It must be love. I'm Sandy Wilson. I was born and raised right here in Arkansas. My husband and I were raised on family values of do what you promise, and always treat every person the way you wish to be treated. That's why at Wilson's you will always be treated as a priority, and not just as another homeowner. If you're looking for the best products and quality craftsmanship with the best price, then call us today and experience the Wilson's difference. Just remember, at Wilson's you will always get the best of the best for less. Join the thousands of drivers who have their auto insurance through AAA. I didn't know how easy it was to just switch auto insurance. The money that I saved by moving to AAA insurance went into my son's tuition fund. After comparing a few other rates, you know, it was clear that AAA was our best place to be. As a AAA member, you could save an average of $381 a year. Compare that to Geico, State Farm, or Allstate. You could save even more with AAA discounts. We have uh, the multi-car discount, the multi-policy discount. We save quite a bit of money by keeping everything we can with AAA. Best of all, get the service we're famous for and peace of mind. I feel like I'm treated as a person and not just a number. The story of my savings is a very happy one with a very happy ending. At AAA, my job is to help you get more AAA out of your AAA card. And that starts with great savings on auto insurance. Call 888-672-6187. AAA. So easy, so smart, so switch. 
Discover ultimate support and comfort for a great night's sleep at Denver Mattress with our Doctor's Choice Plush, selected by the nation's leading consumer magazine as the best mattress buy under $800. A better tomorrow starts tonight at Denver Mattress. Oh, Little Rock Family Magazine, the April issue has got the best ideas for summer camps for the kids. Blair Neal of Little Rock Family joins us, and I was amazed at the list you had. <laughs> it's pretty incredible what Little Rock and Central Arkansas has to offer from rowing camps to um, <laughs> art camps. All the schools now offer these summer camps that are educational, so it's really incredible. And so does the zoo, which brings us to Katie Holloway, who's the Education Program Coordinator. Tell us about your summer camp. Well, we offer it's going to be two months. It's three day long camps. It's for five year olds to seven year olds is one block, and then from eight to ten year olds is another block. Um, and this year it's all about Arkansas wetlands. So we're going to teach you about conservation, how to save our wetlands here in Arkansas. And you're going to get hands on, look at some gross pond water, see all the kind of little things that live in it. Um, and it's, it's going to be a, a really a lot of fun. It's one of our most successful programs we do all year here. But now, wait a minute. Blair and I want to know, there are going to be animals involved here. They're not just going to be looking under microscopes all the time. No, no, there will be animals. We have a large variety of different education animals. And, so, um, and if they go online, they can see the number and call the education department and sign up. And it also includes their admission into the zoo for the day. So if they want to hang out a little bit later on, they can. It also includes a free T-shirt. So that they get a different T-shirt every year as well, too. Blair, another great offer from your Little Rock Family Magazine. I hope everybody has a great summer. <laughs> and this is the starting point for it. Pick up a copy the April edition. We'll be back. That's a terrible call. That was a foot outside. Are you kidding me? That was in the dirt. That's ridiculous! This is so unfair! Unfair? You want to know what's unfair? It's Guatney Chevrolet's unfair low prices. We're killing the competition. Guatney Chevrolet's unfair prices. Good for you, bad for the competition. At Ankles Carpet One, you can create a beautiful room for less. And during a no extra sale, you can save hundreds of dollars. Choose any carpet we sell and get all the extras. Installation, pad, measure, delivery, furniture moving, take up and haul away at no extra charge. That's any carpet, any color or style, even Karistan. Even Karistan? Yes, three year, no interest financing too. Plus save on wood, ceramic, luxury vinyl and more. It's the no extra sale at Eccles Carpet One. We make it beautiful for less. We thought you should know. We had some work done and we look good. Come to the new bigger, better, and more beautiful furniture row in Little Rock and find special savings throughout the center. Visit the new design studio and take advantage of a free interior design consultation. Discover our expanded custom order program. Shop our massive new rug gallery and find hundreds of fabulous rugs in every size, shape, and style imaginable. Furniture Row, now better than ever. Healthcare tax credits are available for Arkansas small businesses with My Arkansas Insurance. When I signed up with the health insurance marketplace, it was incredibly easy. We not only got great insurance at a good price, but we also got a tax break that I could turn around and reinvest in the business. If you're one of my fellow small business owners, I strongly recommend that you go with Arkansas Shop. You can't go wrong. Enroll today at myarinsurance.com. It feels good to hang on and enjoy the ride. And at Crane Kia, Arkansas's number one Kia dealer, we're all about the ride. It feels good to get your choice of new Kia Soul or Rio just $199 a month, plus your choice. New 2016 Kia Optima or Sportage, just $19.9, or make no payments until 2017. And they all come with Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty and the Crane commitment. So enjoy the ride and shop Crane Kia, North Little Rock and Conway, and craneteam.com. He was ushering all the littles. He was um, calling their name, making sure everyone was under the stairwell. But it just, it happened so quickly that we couldn't all get there. Um, so. Two years ago today, Carrie Tittle lost her husband and two of her nine children when their Ferndale home was hit by a tornado. The Tittles were the first victims of the storm that claimed 16 lives that day. 
Tonight at 6, hear from Mrs. Tittle in her first ever interview since her life changed forever. Yeah, can I get you to read it again? I think we all remember that day. Yeah. Oh. It's really tough to think really back sad. on that. You know, they just run together for me, been here, being here so long, but mm -hmm. the, the, the most recent ones are always, you know, the freshest mm -hmm. on our minds. Two years ago today, and so many people are still remembering that day and trying to get their lives back together. It was We were fortunate today, though, that we missed that thunderstorm line that pushed through. It kind of fell apart after it moved toward uh, Yale County. The next couple of days, the next day looks nice, but then the storms come back Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right. Thanks, Ed. Okay. Thank you for watching THV 11 News at 5. We'll have more news coming up at 6. We hope to see you then. Good night. Good night. Thanks for watching THV 11 News. Stay connected to the THV Information Center 24-7 on your mobile device and with the THV 11 app for your iPad. The Trump foreign policy. Speak softly and stick to the script. It's time to shake the rust off America's foreign policy. Ted Cruz tries to shake up the race with a running mate. Party, party. Sentencing day for Dennis Hastert. A judge calls the man once second in line to the presidency a serial child molester. <laughs> Parents who lost their son to heroin go public to save lives. When you look at this picture, do you see a junkie? And female sports reporters confront hate head on. Sarah Spain is a self-important know-it-all. This is the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. Donald Trump.